Hi, I'm Dan from Mia Culpa Hobbies, and today I want to talk to you about these new Warhammer blind bag pins. See what I think? Now, I saw these pins first on a Warhammer community article about Christmas merchandise. Um, they were listed as blind bag pins. Um, there's a little image on the back of what you can expect to find in here. You don't know what, quite which one you're going to get. They're essentially little metal pins of all the different kind of logos from different factions of um, of the different armies you get in Warhammer. So you've got a couple of different Imperiums, an Inquisition, Orcs, all your favourites. Um, and I'm a bit of a sucker for a pin. I quite like wearing them on my work lanyard, uh, maybe on my, my bag that I carry my models in and um, even on my hats occasionally if I'm wearing a beanie. Um, so I was instantly attracted to these. What does turn me off is they're five pounds a pop. Um, I think you can get them in the official, well you can get them in the Games Workshop or Warhammer shops. Um, I'm not sure if they're quite out yet, they might be out tomorrow. Um, as I'm recording this, it's the 11th of December I should say. Uh, they might be out tomorrow or the day after in actual shops, but you can already buy them on the Koyo website. Um, I assume that's how it's pronounced anyway. K-O-Y-O, -O, that's the name of the people who manufacture these. Um, and being blind bag, there's you've got a chance of getting something that you really want or something that you don't. Um, I thought I'd hedged my bets and I bought four of these. Um, hoping that I would get... A, maybe there's about half of these these I can see on the back that I like. But I thought, that you know, if I get ones I don't like, I can probably give them away to somebody else at the club or maybe even trade them with other people online for the ones I do want. So, without further ado, let's crack them open and see what's inside, shall we? Um, I'll randomly choose this one. They seem to be, uh, they seem to have a piece of card or something in the front, so you can't feel which ones you're going to get before you buy them. Um, but, let's see what's in, what's in this first one. Oh, it's even, even once you open it, you can't see until you unfold the card. And it's a Mechanicum skull. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm not sure that's a plus side because that emblazoned on the side of my hat is probably going to be too big for me. Um, it might look nice on my on my wargaming bag. I don't particularly like Mechanicum. I don't find their models particularly attractive. I'm not massively fan. I'm not a big massive fan of their fluff or their their rules. Um, but it's not the worst. It's a it's an okay start. Let's put him over here on that latest issue of White Dwarf. Um, if you're getting any of these, do let me know. I'll, I'd will i be interested to see which ones you've got. And if you've got some that you want to trade, let me know. If you're looking oh, looking for a Mechanicum one. Ooh, this is more my style. Chaos. Chaos Undivided. Yeah, I've definitely got a home for that somewhere. Quality-wise, I don't think they quite hold up to the images I've seen online. Um, they're kind of they're uh, almost a brushed steel metal with uh, a slightly glossy wash put over them to, to highlight the details, highlight the sort of um, inlaid designs. The metal doesn't feel particularly high quality. Not bad, not the highest I've ever felt for a pin. Um, it's got the Koyo logo on the back, nothing more, and then your standard sort of clasp last pair to hold on to whatever you're pinning it to. I quite like that one though, that's a winner. So like I said, I'm probably expecting these to be half winners, half losers. Um, let's go into the third though. What I'm really hoping for is either the gold, the gold Imperial Eagle. Um, I'd also quite like, I quite like any of the Imperial Eagles or the Space Marine Skull and wing design, the Inquisition Eye, maybe even the um, the Sisters of Battle Fleur de Lis, the Gene Stealer logo is nice. I can already tell this probably isn't the golden one because it's got a silver back, although maybe the maybe the pin back will be. Uh, there you go, Fleur de Lis. Um, again, it's just too big for me to wear, I think. That's huge. It's more of a kind of brooch size than it is pin size. Um, I'll definitely find a home for it, probably on my wargaming bag. Um, I, I use a magnetic case for all of my wargaming. I'll link the video to, to a review of it up there, just in case you're interested. Um, and now we're down to the last one. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be 
an Imperial Eagle because it is the most iconic. Um, most iconic symbol in Games Workshop history anyway. Um, God, this last one's hard to get into. Um, silver back again, so probably not that golden eagle. Tau, really? Um, <laughs> again, I'll take it. I don't hate Tau. In this sort of form, it almost just looks like a bottle cap or a bottle bottle opener somehow, it makes me think of. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are about half and half good. Good versus bad. Um, you know, they are what they are. Five pounds probably quite quite a high price for these um, this chaos chaos symbol is definitely the winner here the fleur de is a second the other two I'm not particularly excited about but they're not the worst um, will it will I be buying more probably not I mean I really don't want that that space elves logo <laughs> or the or the Necron one I don't think so I haven't got any that are, are big losers here but how many of these can one man wear at any given time? Probably not more than two at the most. But if you're buying any of these and you want to, if you want to swap any of these, a couple that I'm not a big fan of, let me know, or just let me know what you think of them. I want to know if um, if I'm the only pin-loving Warhammer collector out there, or if there's more of you, you weirdos out there as well. Um, so thanks for tuning in. If you like this, if you've got any questions about these pins or anything else you see on my channel, drop it in the comments. And if you can, please do like, subscribe, or even share this video. It really helps the channel, and it helps me create more videos like this, which I actually really enjoy doing. So thanks for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you again next time on Mia Culpa Hobbies.